up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man, Brandon Brody, a.k.a. Brody the Joker. Welcome to another edition of the Cool Kids Podcast. Right now, I'm joined here with two wonderful, wonderful women. I also have... <laughs> <laughs> Yane and Audra here. Wow! <laughs> no, I'm I playing. I'm messing some... around. Look, they gave me wow. a lot of, they gave me a lot of trash. They, 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 you, you don't understand. Me. Before okay. the camera comes on, they are giving me so much shit. You understand, y'all? Like, first of all, Audra uh, is, is just taking... Took, took all the sauces. We had chicken what? and such for lunch today. I and she decided that she deserved all four. I thought, I was like, oh, Pollo Loco didn't d- deliver the... You got mashed potatoes. Why do you need guacamole? You had mashed potatoes. Why do you need guacamole? Don't worry about what I'm doing, <laughs> Brody. I'm Listen, it's just... <laughs> well, look, we're very excited, of course, to be here. Of course, this episode is sponsored by Co-Create Studios and powered by the Judah Network, which you're very, very excited to be Judah. a part of. Judah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's going on, y'all? I am B. Moore, the producer of the Cool Kids Podcast. We wanted to take a quick break to give a special shout out to our sponsor, Co-Create Studios. For our sponsor, Co-Create Studios. So Co-Create Studios is your go-to place for content creators, influencers, and brands to come together to create high quality content like podcasts and social media video. So whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned pro, Co-Create has everything that you need to take your content to the next level. That's why we chose to partner with Co-Create to produce our podcast, The Cool Kids. So I'm calling out all content creators, influencers, and brands. If you're looking for a place to create and collaborate, be sure to check out Co-Create Studios. And now, back to our podcast. We're going to hop right into it. Oh, let me give you guys a fair introduction because I did oh, yeah. not do that. We, of course, have Audra. Go ahead and let them know. The I'm are. Audra as he just ruined the surprise. <laughs> Um, I'm Audra, Audge Lachelle, Mm -hmm. or whatever, and, you know, go ahead, sis. Yeah, yeah. That's about all you're going to get out of me. of course, we have... uh, Yane Coleman, known as Yane Official. Mm. Yep, there we go. Well, Mm. I'm looking forward to... We have some very, very funny topics today, Mm -hmm. and I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, The first one is, have you ever said the wrong name or had the wrong name called to you during sex? (gasps) Mm. Any times you just there's you just, been a you're time. In the, you're in there, there was a time. There okay. was a time that I accidentally I, I I felt the name come out that shouldn't have come out, oh and I had to change the conversation to where it parlayed into a word that then came from the beginning of the name. Oh, you know magic. You, you had to think <laughs> quick. How did you do it? What did you like? Like what did you did you? It just... was like a it was a t- oh my time uh, the <laughs> shoes up tie my hands. Oh, kind of situation. <laughs> dude's was dude's name was Ty, and then you switched it into like some Ty like my that. hands. That's something like that. That's and pretty it just, brilliant. Yeah, it, was, it was it was a tough. That's... It was a tough. Yeah. All yeah. <laughs> oh, the no, You like that, huh? All the finish. No hands. No hands. Tyrone. Who? What name you say? I meant to say Miller. Mm mm. You said something else. Huh? Thriller, Miller, like you know, Thriller. You be putting it down. Thriller? Nah, I didn't hear Thriller. Uh-huh. That's not the T name you said. Who is this dude? I, babe, I said Miller. No, nah, you gotta tell me who this is. Who you messing with? No, nah, I don't believe you. I'm about to look for him. Somebody under this bed or something. No, wait. wait I at? promise you. And I mean, I, 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 now what would happen in reverse? Now, let's say you were called the wrong name. How would you feel? Well, I mean, if you miss Odd or Audra, then you're already busted. Thank you. <laughs> no pun intended, right? I love you. know, not you're busted. You're already busted, hey. and hopefully hey. it'll follow up because if you call me the wrong name, I'm out. But bro. technically, your name, I mean, uh, I mean, God. Your name almost is the automatopoeia that could be played off in like the, a moaning sound, you know? Oh. Ah, 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 I was just, you know, your name. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Because if you say, oh, somebody else's name and it's yeah. not close to my name, oh. how are you going to play that off? Yeah, right. oh. is the question. I wouldn't talk. Yeah. If I'm getting moaned somewhere else, that's not my problem. <laughs> mm-hmm. That ain't none of my business. And what about you, Yane? I mean, it seems like, I feel like you've called the wrong name before. Oh. No, I never oh. have called the wrong. That's the energy you got from her. I didn't get that. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I don't know. She was darting her eyes like she <laughs> had something mysterious, you know. Mm-hmm. So I don't no. think I've ever been in that situation. Never been. And have you called? Or somebody called you the wrong name? No. Never. never. Mm. Wow, that's mm. pretty good. 
That's that's pretty good, but but then I'm sure people mess your name up in real life, just in day to day conversations. People fuck my name up all the time. Yeah. I'm Yanni, Yana, Yan, your yeah. name. Yeah, because her name that. is spelled out. It's spelled out uh, Y A H N E with an accent over the E. Ooh, with the accent, see that accent I'll will throw like, a lot of people Ico. off. Okay. <laughs> Yanni, 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 That's a good. That's Beyonce. Yo, uh, Beyonce. Uh, uh, <laughs> but yeah, but in sex, no. No sex. Okay, okay. okay. Well, that's good. I've never, cool. I've never. Uh, had well, at least I've never recognized. Maybe you never lady, had sex? Maybe, no, I've had oh. sex. Okay, yeah, I, I mean, I've done it like at least a billion, to, to, oh, at least okay. a billion, so Damn. much, so That's slamming, so much. So much. Moist hips. No, but I've I've had sex. Okay, and I believe that I have. I if I have been called the wrong name, they might have been as slick as you, uh. and 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 played it off by something oh. I wasn't paying attention oh. to. Yeah. That's that old shit. <laughs> Oh, that's like a slip and slide. That, that's a waterfall. I feel like I'm at Raging Waters. <laughs> Roxanne! Roxanne? Did you just call me Roxanne? No, I didn't say Roxanne. What you mean? I know what I heard, Miller. Nah, nah, nah. It was like, Roxanne, Roxanne, I want to be your man. You know that song. That's what I said. Oh, you talking about that song? Like that song. You know, Rock saying you don't have to put on the red light. Yep. Yeah, I see my phone. <laughs> I'm telling you. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. That's it right there. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I know I've probably said the wrong name. I don't think during sex, apps, but like maybe the precursor to or, okay, or afterwards okay, like okay. you know mm, like because i don't I, I think it's 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 a protection for me i won't even say names you know right you know that's why you baby. just become baby you, got, you baby you know you're fucking up so you yeah, get to yeah, be the babes you, you know because sometimes you smash and you off some stuff you add some liquor some, some what? mushrooms you're some, off some stuff you off some stuff you, you have some, some of the perks you have some of the things <laughs> not, <laughs> not no fucking perks you could be off your feet you could just you could be off, off, your, off your feet calling me the wrong name hey i believe that right Right, because I'll you pack dry a punch, up like huh? that. Ooh, <laughs> oh, oh, that's Yolanda, who? Yolanda, oh, that means that dude's that's sleeping around. Odd. That's an oldie, that's like, oh, Ethel, oh, I mean, I mean. Oh, grandma, I mean, like, yeah. That would be even worse if they call you Rose or something oh, real man. old, and you're like, really? That's what that's you're what doing? <laughs> Gertrude, uh, Gertrude, uh, Beatrice, you know, <laughs> that's a that's some old names, old names. Terrible. Um, so what, next what topic, a, we got. what about just smashing and and thinking about somebody else though? The okay. highlight reel. So now, so how would you guys 100%. feel about like? Okay, mm, do you think I, it's do you think it's wrong like if you're smashing, and then you got somebody else on your mind while you're you you tap into the highlight reel? I you think tap into I the think highlight reel. Is I that how you rationalize it? I don't rationalize it because I don't do it. I don't do it at all. I think it's cheating. I, I consider it because if you're thinking about somebody else and you're doing something with me, you're thinking about doing that with that person. And you've never done that, though. No, no, because if I'm the person I'm with, if I have to think about somebody else, I'm with the wrong person. But what if it's like a blip in your mind, like a quick, like a like, mm -hm. a, like a TikTok flip? Mm -hmm. You know and what I mean? Nobody Just... that turns me on but my man. Hey. Nobody. Hey. And, and I'm telling you, when <laughs> I'm at home alone and I'm like, it's that's it. That's all. His name come out. Everything. That's it. She is so well trained for public relations and media right now. You know these these answers are well trained. Well trained for media PR PR. It's, it's a like little odd, no no odd. well trained. I'm not referring to him. I'm referring to you being politically correct, like like saying all the right things oh, to the camera. Didn't Jahan say that he coached you? Didn't he? Uh, Y'all always trying to catch me on something. Uh, it's just me being me. Uh, that was, that was, mm. I, I believe that though. Mm. I think that I think that you know sometimes you might you don't know what you're gonna think of all the time. I think that, that you might think of something. Something might pass your brain. It might pop mm -hmm. into your head. Yeah, like because you, you, you might compare. I mean, I know I've been in positions Ooh. where I'm like comparing, like, oh, this is way better than da 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 da. But I'm not mm -hmm. actively tapping into right. like make something happen. Or you're like, oh, this is a little <laughs> bit different how they do it. That doesn't come in your brain. Like you, you like because you're gonna think about like how when you're doing it. How can you not think about? I guess if the you other go to something worse, but if you go to something better, you're gonna be thinking yeah. that it's better though because you're thinking I'm about just, what was worse. But I'm not thinking about what was worse. I'm just thinking about oh, I didn't know about this. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Right. That's yeah. it. But I'm you're not automatically thinking. Think, so you're just thinking of this new experience. Yes. You're not thinking like oh, I've never had that yeah, experience. Yeah. Like oh, why was I? Oh, I missed out on you. Have you guys ever had a situation where you had a man that like dropped you? When you dropped like, you, what? Dropped off you. Physical, like no, dro like like picks you up and then drops you. Maybe stumble. A little, maybe a little stumble. A little stumble. Uh -huh. And so you knew that that was something different because you've been not dropped before, right? 
Yeah, I've been not dropped. So then don't you think you would think about that other person that kind of, like the person that knew how to do it, right? No. I, no? I don't really get picked up like that. Like, we'd be on the back. I'm not trying to do all that. My <laughs> knees be crackling. It's not it's like ASMR for real. It's like the geriatric version, like where your knees crack. Oh, that's she does. She's ready for it. Just yeah. Sound of a- you know what the joint sound like. No, I don't really do all the acrobatic. Well, some of them. But not that. Not that move. No, yeah, have you ever dropped anybody? Uh, nah, I haven't dropped anybody, but I did fall into a mirror once. So I wasn't, it was. You get the blue face, the blue face legs? Uh, <laughs> something happened and I, I just. Wobbled? Wobbled back into a, and shattered <laughs> the mirror. Ass, had man. glass, <laughs> had glass in my back. Oh no, oh, oh, like it And it was, broke? it was like, yeah, it was a mirror. It was in college and it was like tiny little shards of glass. Damn. So it was like. Oh, you could die, like bleed out slow. No, nah, I wasn't going to bleed out. I was going to be mildly irritated for a day, <laughs> but not. It was worth it though? Oh, absolutely. Oh, sure. sure. uh, And then finished. I came. Is that what people say? And then I, no, they're like, yeah, no, of course I, I finished. You know, you okay. got, you know, I, after your back got fucked up. The mirror, I didn't even know how, how messed up the mirror was. Everything was fucked up, you know, but, I, but when you're in the act, it's like, okay, am I still breathing? Then I'm locked in. I'm still in here. <laughs> mm. Gotta see it through, my boy. I wasn't, yep. I, 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 good was knees a, and endurance. Yeah, it, it, was a, it, was a, it was a little fun situation. It was, nice. Yeah, so, you know, I, I I, I got to remember what, that this is a podcast. Why this do I just got talking. your back? <laughs> I know. I'm like, damn. It That's was so bl- traumatizing. Blood. Like, it doesn't sound Blood. like a good time. You can't rub his back. Is it, oh. it was like baby cuts. Like, like you know, if you ever had like, uh, you ever like rub fiberglass? Yeah. And then you and feel a little irritated. Or the little yeah, that, it was like exactly. Yeah. It was like that type. It was like it was like I fell into no, I a bunch exactly of tiny cactuses. Of yeah. As a woman, how how would you feel about that if you like fucked his back up? Would you be like, yeah, I fucked his back? No. Up. Or would you be like, damn? If I'm being honest, it was two girls, and so that and it was kind of a it was me putting being in a little way over my head trying to do too much. Not way. And then everyone kind of fell back into the it. into the into the mirror. The the mirror thing is interesting though because I really I have a, a a thing with I like to watch myself like I like to see myself oh doing whatever yeah yeah cooking you know but just showering and fucking yeah in the in the mirror and that's what about you do you like mirror I mean oh with that face you better I'd be like <laughs> <laughs> if it's there okay so like you know yeah. those, those ones they have like some of those Vegas like you know what I mean the hotels you see yeah. with, the, with the ceiling mm. mirrors you'd be those like are, uh, uh, those uh. are pretty cool Ooh, never tried one of those <laughs> hey the weekend just started you can a... see movement you're like oh okay. so that's yeah. why you did that <laughs> that's what I'm gonna like I was wondering okay. how you did that <laughs> but are y'all gonna be like that are y'all gonna be hyping yourselves up or are you gonna be like well, are y'all gonna be looking at your hair like oh damn my back looks uh, cool. I'm gonna need my angles I'm gonna be watching my angles whoever whoever's in control whoever's whoever's the one like that's what I'm gonna be watching I'm gonna be watching people's performance like mm-hmm. okay all right oh i got a little hip move yay so you're gonna be like come up kind of like a what is it like a voyeur a self-voyeur oh if I'm yes. right. yeah yeah self-voyeurism self-voyeurism all right uh, i want to jump on we can stay on this one forever uh but uh, what are like some of the basic human qualities you guys want in a partner if you had to name maybe like i don't know three or four three what are some of the basic, basic human qualities mm-hmm. um kindness mm-hmm. um um thoughtfulness mm-hmm. um just consideration the human basic human qualities; those to me are basic. Yeah, yeah. I say, I say, it's it good, solid three right there. What about you? Um, <clears throat> kindness, mm-hmm. uh, consideration, um, communication. Mm. Kindness, huge. Kindness, Ooh. consideration. Huge. I'm gonna have to get. You know what? I'm gonna need some of y'all advice too when we. I got mm-hmm. you. I got you. Oh, because I got a little issues going. Oh, oh real issues. advice. I, mean, I need communication advice. Yeah. Oh, God. oh I, I would be. I'd be. I, I, can we, we can shut the camera off right now. We can fucking talk because <laughs> I'm liking so where this is going right now. So we can just. <laughs> wow. Fuck that. Audra, we can hang out too. Okay. Yeah. So what was that conversation stuff you was talking about? The communication. We communicate. <laughs> we'll communicate. We'll communicate. Okay. So like, um, if you're because you're dating a guy, mm-hmm. and he's busy, like legit, like. You're you're an actor, right? Content creator, actor, mm. all that. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like, I like to say comedian first. Okay, but, comedian, cool. But, you know, I guess I wasn't. Clear. You got a movie. Okay. Okay. You got shows. Uh huh. You got to do your content. Yes. Mm-hmm. You got meetings. Like, meetings. Like you got, like I got, like we all got, mm-hmm. yeah. you know. So you're dating a person. Do you feel like they have to be always communicating through text all the time? Do you feel like it's okay to go days without talking? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel, I'm like here, because sometimes I really do get busy and a guy might text me and I really legit might not be able to text back. Oh, you know? so yeah, you're talking so about on the perspective of, uh, from the, the, from the male's perspective? No, I'm talking about from a male's perspective, but I'm saying yeah. I can understand. But, but feel busy. free to chime in because yeah, I know you were, a guy, a guy being a busy one. 
Do you think it shows lack of interest if he's not like hitting you up all the time or nah, maybe his I, I schedule think that, might be busy? He can't nah, 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 nah. Look, look, we we all know we have the, this technology in our hands at mm, all times. You know what I'm saying? You. And I think that like because it because it's so ex accessible. Mm -hmm. You can dudes can ruin their own talk themselves out of stuff by being too thirsty, you know. True. So I think it's also I like to give a woman her space, you know. I will maybe send a text, you know, especially if I'm really interested. I'm mm -hmm. gonna send a text, let them know I was thinking about them or something, but not even without saying that, like I'm thinking right. about you, like right. you know. But just something fun, maybe send a little <laughs> gift or something, like a little meme, you know, something mm -hmm. just to like so I know, hey, I, I see you, right? Because I know if you're engaged with me, you're free to talk. But if you're not then I'm not going to be like, why aren't you hitting me up or get stressed out? Because right. again, they may be working. They may True. just not want to talk. And it's okay when people don't want to talk on mm -hmm. the phone or want to go back and forth through text. You know, you might be having, some people might be having a conversation or doing a podcast like this. And it's like, it's so rude when I'm like, if I'm doing this, responding to someone just because I'm trying to keep them right. at ease. So I think that if you have a person that's understanding, especially the industry person, mm -hmm. they're going to be happy that you're, that, that you're busy. Right. They're going to they're gonna love that. Yeah. And that's where I'm at now because before I used to be like, I needed a guy around me all the time, all the time. And then I went through a phase where I was t talking to a guy and I thought we were really getting to know each other. Yeah. We were texting all day long. And I'm like creating emotions through this text. Right. And he's like, um, we're just communicating. Like there ain't really nothing there. So I'm wow. like, okay, okay, I need to, I know, now that I know. So you think texting, you overextended yourself? You think I you think I put too emotions much into too much importance into the text messaging uh, so now i'm like yeah it's like a you create a false reality like we're not creating this in person yeah we're not even on the phone it's like texting so you can say something and i can take it as oh my goodness he's in love but right. you just said something real was casual it, 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 yeah it, it, the intention you know, and the yeah it was and different that's, so and my, that's, Wait, I'm sorry. My thing now is with dating is I don't want to text all the time mm -hmm. i don't want to talk all the time um i want to communicate but in person or over the phone and I'd rather have a guy that's busy they got shit going on and when so he make can... time for me it's like I had all that shit going on for the last week but I made time for you yeah. right here so and it well, lets them know that they actually care and they made it took, took yes. initiative but don't you hate like uh, the game that like just the small little, like our parents our grandparents didn't have to play this, I mean, right. this type of game. If you really liked a woman, I mean, you, you, you really had to plan it out. You had to court it out. The, the woman understood, okay, 8 o'clock, I'd like to take you out. You know, that type right. of thing. And More everyone, organized. everything had to move because if, if any part, the communication was messed up, it'd be like, yo, I think she didn't want to see me. And that's right. it. People be, have this so much, so we know you can just switch plans at any time mm -hmm. that it doesn't really change the course mm -hmm. of a dude that was walking six miles to take some lady out, right. you know, a right. mile from mm -hmm. her house. Right. You know? Um, but, like, do you feel like do you hate the game of it? Like the game, but there is a game to it. I don't hate the game. I feel like it, you just have to know how to play it. And mm. you have to know what position you play. I don't play the dating game like okay. that. You know what I mean? I know what I want. I'm super grown. I don't have time for games. Like I don't want to. If I wanted to play them, I'd play them very well. I don't mm -hmm. want to. I'm not interested. So I don't deal with anybody who does. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm happy where I am. That's why it's, I feel like you just you make a choice. If you want to be out there, then you know the risks. You know the, you know different things that come along with it yeah. and you either play with it or you don't. Mm -hmm. And is it easy for both you guys to like be like kind of upfront with your feelings like when you are feeling someone or do you still feel like you need them to be the, the initiator or, or put their heart mm -hmm. on their sleeve first? Like are you like are you guys okay with saying like you like someone? So I just started uh, dating again. I've, okay. I've been single for probably about mm, almost two years. And what does dating wow. what does dating mean to you? Does that is it mean it like you're like seeing one consistent person or taking going on dates with different people? It all depends on the week, honey. Okay. I can be could see okay. one consistent person for. But that's a couple different weeks, perspective of dating because somebody yeah. says I'm dating this person. That's like oh we both locked in, exclusively but they date dating. exclusively yeah. dating. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you do exclusively okay. dating is in your vocab of, of like. I do exclusive dating. But I'm not exclusively exclusively right dating She's right just now. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm dating. So today it might be one person. And I might meet somebody that might be two, and okay. then it might casual. go back to one. Then it might get more casual, yep. going yeah. out on dates, getting to know each other. Um, what was your question again? <laughs> um, no, I was, uh, I, what was my question? Because we, we said... Um, you, you were just... Uh, oh, gosh. <laughs> Does anyone remember what the hell I just said? What's dating mean? That was not the question. That was the question. question. <laughs> I, I like that he's writing his own uh, script, too. literally what she said. I said, what's dating mean to you? Yeah, like, what does that mean to you? How, how oh, I was dating? saying like, what's your, what, yeah, what is your definition of what do you call dating? Yeah, that's, oh, that's what I was okay. saying. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Like, like um, the exclu. Well, well was it exclusive? But it was something question. before. It was something that right was before that. Yeah. It was something right before that. I know, I know, it's burning <laughs> right now. 
Um, <laughs> oh, I think I was talking. It was more about the. Ga- oh, do you let oh, people know if you like them? Oh, right. Do you let, do you let yeah. people know? Right. Yeah, all right, so let, let me just. <laughs> so, like, like, so my question, like, do you let a person know that you like them when you actually like them, or do you play a game where you don't let them know? So I'm figuring it out now as I go along what to do. Like I'm testing di- like with different guys. I'm like experimenting. So okay, okay, let me be up front. Yeah, I want a relationship. I want kids. I want marriage. Oh, don't hear from him tomorrow. Right. Okay, not that approach. Right. Okay, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just seeing how it goes. Oh, he playing me. Don't like that approach. Right. So just trying to find the mm. medium where it's like, I want to date, but hold on. Don't get your panties in a bunch. It might not be you. But I do want to date. I mean, out. I do want a, a boyfriend. So I'm going to put that out there. But don't think that, you know, all the pressure is on you. Like, now you have to be my boyfriend or something like that. So just Damn. let people know. But see, even that, my... that hit me low-key because I'm like, that means she she's definitely got other dudes. Right. So, like, yeah, but a guy should know. I, but that almost, you... And there's almost dudes that don't want to know. Like, it's almost like the illusion that they're the only one, even though yeah, but you know soon, you're but, single. But as soon as you tell them they're the only one, they kick their feet up and it ain't doing nothing. Right. So it's kind of like, what, what, right. what can we make y'all You don't want to get yeah. complacent. Well, I think, yeah, it's I, like, think, I, think it's, I think it's very, I think it makes a, it takes a lot of pressure off, especially with the way society is and, the, and how uh, certain interactions between men and women exist right now, where, like, you know, even, like, the, those, the gym videos, where they show videos of women working out the dude literally trying to help the girl, and then she's like, "Oh, this dude's being thirsty." Because bitches There's, that are looking for attention, right? So that what that's done is made dudes a little scared in their approach to some women because they don't want to get rejected, mm-hmm. and then so it's like I think that when a woman is able to uh, let 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 the dude they know they let the dude they know they like like let them know a little bit, like mm-hmm. I think that that's so much more relief because then they can come at you as a person that they actually like as well. Too. But we probably will naturally let you know. You will naturally know that we're feeling you or not. Do you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. that's a, as a human being, you're gonna have that natural dance. You know if somebody has the energy towards you or not. Mm-hmm. So if it doesn't work out and she's just casually dating and she's getting to know somebody, she's not on the first date going to give them baby it's you energy right you know what right. i mean so they should be able to read that and be like okay that was cool that was kicked back and then the next day if she's feeling it more they're going to feel it she's going to give them signs as she goes as exactly. they give her what she needs or doesn't need like ex- except in the second date okay uh, it's some interest there's here. already something so, there. Then, so do you have any like lead runners in the race right now would you say like there's like a lead runner or like People runners? you're considering yeah for like in the race, yeah, she okay. has to. That's what she's doing is breaking down her. So options. It's, it's, it's <laughs> vetting them. It's vetting them out. No, that's yeah. that's good. It, well, like the kinda, playoffs. It, I have like a the question. Playoffs. Yeah, do you think kissing on a first date is a good thing, bad thing? Like, if it doesn't happen, it's like, whoa, there was no chemistry. Or uh, it, no, I don't think it's a good or bad thing. I think it's it. I think it's bad if you force it. Because you know, kissing is extremely intimate. Mm. I'm usually not a kisser. Not a on piece the first of head, day. though. So you're usually <laughs> not a kisser. On no, I'm kissing. usually not because okay. I want to know somebody before their mouth. Your mouth is important. My face is important. I want to know where your mouth has been. Mm-hmm. However, if the energy is right and you have that lock mm-hmm. in, let it happen. Mm-hmm. Because if it's natural, it's natural. It's flow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I agree with her. I, I think the chemi- chemistry for sure. Like, because when you have that. That the guy that, that leans in and you're like, mm. you're like, hold up, wait. Yeah. The kiss, yeah. Because I'm playing on ghost of you after this. <laughs> that's, I think that's. You can read her. You, you, I absolutely have to read her. I'm yeah. not, I'm not gonna get curved. Like, oh, this, he I might mean, be shy though. Nah, but, but I, shy is I, different I, than I'm not feeling you. Yeah. Shy is, oh, if a girl not feeling you, she like, you'll know. Well, she don't even know. No, and and the thing is, it's like there's this awkward absolutely. moment that we as humans just Shy for whatever do, you know you're about to kiss because you do something awkward. You just look at, you're kind of in each other's face, you know? Right. And you don't, you're both kind of like, am I going to do it? She going to do it? Am I going to do it? Right. Yeah. If a woman, if a person is allowing their face to be in front of your face for that long, they down to kiss. So have you ever been like here with it? And y'all like, you, is she like, he going, because I don't feel like a girl should lean in. No, she no, don't have to lean in. But I know. Have you ever not leaned in? It was like, fuck um, <laughs> for sure, and and I've been, been the opposite where I was like, "Yo, but we we had mad FaceTime for like three minutes. What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> Y'all are just in what you mean? We just in your face. I was in your face like this, and you gonna this you gonna so turn weird. like that's like yo, because that's so. I mean, I do. I think that for women, like th- th- you shouldn't have to lean in. I think absolutely, like right. there leaves some kind of chivalrousness in, in the man giving it. A so sweet. what yeah. made you not kiss when she was there? Like I, I'm with it, kiss me. Oh, uh, because probably the chemistry. Cause I'm like, cause I mean, it, it's like, yeah, men, we can smash and like not have feelings and right. da da you know, do all that. But it's the point you get like, I guess much more maturity about it. You're like, yeah, I can smash, but I'm, I'm really not like, I'm not feeling it. Like yeah. I'm not, this like the chemistry does mean more. something. It absolutely has to be more. I think because that's dope. It's like when you're younger, 
it's just the, just the luster of kissing a girl is like so exciting. Right. Like, oh my God, I kissed her. Lips. I bit, but and then you get a little, it's like, oh, I, I felt some titty, I felt some ass. And then, you, <laughs> you know, then, then you have sex. But then once you've had enough sex, you're just like, you want more yeah, than that. Like, right. you know, because you yeah. know, like, I know I can get a kiss from and a girl. It makes, right. And it makes sex better. Like, For whenever sure. you have like you a desire. Whole connect, oh my Ooh. gosh. And that's why, that's why I said there's nothing that turns me on outside of what, because he just keeps it going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Because there's, so. there's two types of sex there's kissing sex and non kissing I'd sex. I'd rather, as, as, as I got older, <laughs> I <I'm, laughs> There's people, it's facts. Yeah, you, people you that won't kiss you during sex. That's, right? that's and a, then like, we're just not going to be together. I have to kiss. That's weird. Yeah. Like, why are you That's even like with a handshake me? with your like, yeah. privates. Yeah. It's kind of like, why are you even here? Yeah. Um, it's, I'm glad to know that y'all haven't been there, but like, I know y'all motherfuckers have. <laughs> all right. Hey, there's definitely like, yeah, you know what? I smash, but I can't kiss. That's a crazy dialogue to even have as an adult. Like, that's even nasty, if, though. Like, this if you smash. wouldn't kiss her, why would you put your... It's not about them being ugly. Like, like, not, like It's like no, it's a chemistry I'm... thing because I think there's more... I, 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 I for, for Personally, I can almost feel more of a real genuine connection connection from kissing kiss. as opposed to having Absolutely. sex. It's more right. You know, busting the nuts. Like, all right, well, it's clear that out. All right, what's next on the, on the schedule? But yeah, it is. It's personal. It I'd rather personal. not kiss on the first. Like mm -hmm. I'd rather not kiss on the first day. As I got yeah. older, that's how I am now. When I was younger, like oh my goodness, it has to. It has to end with a kiss, a kiss. or it's just nothing. That's right. the pressure you put on yourself. Yeah, too. but now I'm like, uh, how many dates have I been? On? Right. And I've kissed a guy, and like I'm blocking him, or it didn't go nowhere. Right. You know what I'm saying so. It was right. like He's it's a waste. That good lip. Right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, and he, they, can, you know, we heard about bum bumps and all that. That's why I'd be like, I've never had no. <laughs> I'm not trying to. <laughs> I just, ooh, I'd be looking at if, if they straws, if the stringy, mm -mm. stringy saliva. Do you smoke and it's wet after? Dental mm. hygiene. Oh boy, I need yeah. to Dental. know too many things before our mouths touch. Mm. Well, what, what is what is your guys uh, like love language? What would you say? Like, is it acts of service? Is it uh, mine? Is, is it touch, touch? And, and just like confirmation. Confirmation. So yeah. was it words of affirmation? Words of affirmation. Yeah. Words of affirmation. Right. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, Touch yeah, my baby them. can get out a lot of shit mm -hmm. real so, quick by, I missed you, you did. <laughs> oh, and what is See, it? I, I can't wait to stop talking like that. My baby, my, my man, my man, my man. That's how you like to talk. You like to give. You that's like how, to give yeah, that's what the goal. I'm like, is. when I get a man, I'm like that. That the what, goal. What, we went here. What about my man? Oh, yeah, my man. Yeah, it, then my man. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> that's sweet. I'm glad. I like. I like to hear that. That's good. I'm like, yes. Yeah, that's she's good. happy. That's mm -hmm. good. You so like y'all, y'all hear that? I mean, these are two women that will boost their man up. It's no, it's not. They're not trying to hold. I, that's that's the maturity too, because there's a lot of women that are following this idea that like, like not 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 putting, you know, like. That's not their that man. Yeah. That's not their man. Because it's, any woman will go into a. Because I don't want to say there's a woman's place, but there's a man that will make a woman kind of oh. I'll let you man. Mm -hmm. If you want a man, I'll let you man. If you want a man, Every, I'll let you yeah. man. Women just wants to be, you know, strong and independent. And I do agree that Absolutely. you do need to be independent and have your shit together in case something, you know, go down. Right. But also you need to have that independence That's for awesome. when you are in a relationship. Yeah. If some shit go down, I yeah. got your back, you got my back. Like yeah. I don't want to be the strongest one in a relationship unless mm. I have to be. Right. Like, I want my man. I want your my man. man to be like the lead, the head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make like, you still feel like a woman. Mm -hmm. Like you can be a woman, but mm -hmm. absolutely be smart and be independent. But, exactly. But yeah, my man. My man can man anytime he wants. He can man anywhere so, he wants. So, so they basically. Oh wow. He yeah. can man anywhere he, he wants man, to. Honey. That's definitely a skeet joke. A that's somehow. <laughs> she, she literally said he can man wherever he wants, and then did this. Like that's that's about skeeting on titties, guys. That's that's what that was. You weren't, if it wasn't clear what Audra was doing yeah, right there. You didn't have to deconstruct my my I'm, jokes. I'm, 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 I'm giving the people what it they want to hear. So you know, they, they, when you break it down. they literally be like, "Yo, the way she did that, oh, I think she was talking about something else, but not men's." But, um, <laughs> moving, moving forward. So, what, what do you guys want more? Uh, like, would you want more time for your partner? Like, if you know, I guess this kind of still has to do with like love languages. You know, like, is it is it the time from your partner you want? Like, what is what do you want from I your love partner? Time. The money. Time, time is the most expensive thing that anybody has. You don't know how much you have of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And where you use it is very important. Where you waste it is very important. So, time. If I give somebody time, that's the biggest thing I can give anybody because okay. I just don't know how much I have. Mm -hmm. So. I agree. It's that's huge. Time for me. you as Time well. Is huge. Time. 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 Definitely. That's true. That's good. And especially with your schedule. Like she said, she's busy. Mm -hmm. If they're busy, like you get everything. So when y'all do come together, the time you it's spend like, is important. Yeah. It, and it's yeah. like it brings um 
value val- value to like the conversations. Like we're really trying to get in depth and get yeah, not just like yeah, regular exactly. no surface stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's I like okay, yeah. I put this the time. This y'all crave aside for each us. other. Y'all exactly. y'all are each other's vacation. Exactly, mm. exactly. Mm. Yeah. All right, now I gotta Fire. jump jump right into the next one too. Uh, this one says, "What is the definition?" Of a fake friend and a real friend. So I guess Ooh, I can just ask you guys. I do a lot of that in yeah. California. Well, let's 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 do this. What's what's your definition? Um, what's your definition of a, of a real friend? My definition of a real friend is somebody who is there for me, um, somebody who supports me, somebody who wants me to win, even if they're not winning. Mm. Somebody who um, just has my back. Somebody who can tell me when I'm wrong, mm. but knows me enough to where. They're not putting me down mm. when they're so telling constructive me. Constructive criticism. Constructive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just keep it real. I just keep it. No, bitch, mm-hmm. you're being rude. Right. Like, and right. you kind of sound like a hater. You're banging for real. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So, just those those qualities. Like, that's that's what I think a friend is. How about yeah. you, Audra? What's a real friend to you? It's just, I'm very exclusive with my friendship, with everything like that, because yeah. I value realness mm-hmm. over anything, even if it's a little painful. And I do think that people can be careful about how they, um, you know, present certain things. But I like somebody that's going to tell me if I got a booger in my nose before I go out and somebody that I'm talking to tells me they're a booger in my nose. Well, I appreciate that because before the podcast started, you said, yo, you got some chicken on your lip. Yeah, you, you know? got chicken lip. That's some real friend. Y'all ain't been sitting me. She was sitting there. She saw it. She didn't say, she didn't say a damn thing pictures. about the chicken. <laughs> so it's like you kind of find out who your selfies. real friends are <laughs> and who and your fake friends are. No, I'm saying. No, but that, 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 that's what it is. <laughs> Realness is so, um, you know, it's just scarce now. Like people want to just be heard and they want to they want to fit in to things and I think that it's really you know it stands out whenever somebody's honest with you and, mm. and they tell you and you know if somebody's a real friend or not it's yeah. not hard to to differentiate between real and fake also, yeah also like the things that I like about a real friend and a, and a woman is um, like not always having to be the center of attention. Mm, okay. Like mm-hmm. we might go in a out town together. is that is that yeah, California like, CH is Beyonce. center of attention. Yeah, like fine. it might it might be times where we go out and girl, my outfit just might hit harder than yours today. Right. <laughs> and I'm getting right. that attention. Right. And it's not mean you are beneath me or you are At less all. than or nothing. And you then, make that fun. I'm gonna be like, girl, you know, I gotta step my game up. You came out here, you was you was really see, that's how dudes, fall, like, that's why dudes get along with each other because we'll if we know our man's is fresh, let's be like, oh, you because st- we just roast them. You like, oh, exactly. oh, my man's stepping out. Damn, you know we go exactly. to Diddy's yacht party because, but it's a compliment. Like, damn, my nigga, my nigga's way fresher than me. Right. But I'm right. not gonna let him know that. Exactly. I'm gonna have to roast him. You know, well, I'm or, really roasting myself. Like, I'm gonna roast like, like, myself because like, you know, just about yeah. putting it off. Like vice versa. Like I'm able to like. Okay, the light is on you. You shine it. I'm able to step back. I don't have to be the center of attention. That should give you the same, almost the same butterflies that it gives you as yourself to see your friends. Exactly. Like you should be just as excited for them. See all the good friends, man. I've been out. I've been out with girls where we've taken pictures and we're next to each other, and she might have a purse. All of a sudden, her purse is in front of me while we in the picture. Girl, why are you trying? Why are you trying (laughs) to block? Very weird. Uh, Like girls do that out here. Because every every girl wants them to know they got a Chanel bag. You know. See, and I don't. I got a backpack, nigga, and it got weed in. It and that's it. <laughs> you 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 also I are in a Chanel. relationship. You, it, it, so it's it, like, I'm a different kind of friend, but that's why yeah. like I could get along with her because she yeah. don't glam up and be all cute. And I'm gonna be out here in my sweats and be like, yeah, but I'm gonna pull this dick anyway. <laughs> like, I can, not that I need that. I got my own, but still, I'm just saying. Like I love I love having people that are just real friends. As long as you're that, I'll let you be and I'll gas you up to be whatever you're supposed to be, as big as you can be. And the opposite, real quick. What is the fake friends to you? That just some quick quick that's your mind. Fake friend. What is it? Quick. Easy. What is it? Easy. Quick. They're gonna be hating on just. Like like she said, they're going to bang on you. They're not going to, oh, girl, what are you, oh, why'd you come out with your hair like that? Like, it's going to be wow. something to hurt you. It's not going to be to build you up or help mm-hmm, you. Mm-hmm. It's not to, to make sure that you can pull who you want to pull. Y'all better go get that. Fake friends over there. Go, go, y'all yeah. Right. That's the that yeah. definition yeah, right see, there. That's the right there. Fake <laughs> friends. Fake friends don't want to see you oh, win on a podcast. Stop. They want to have the bullshit from right. Nextel. Because they Bam. got kids or whatever they got to pick that's up from crazy. school. They set an alarm. That's like, crazy. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> kids should have been uh, irresponsible. <laughs> pay for uh, aftercare. Did you All turn right. it off? But yeah, a fake friend, just somebody who don't want to see you win, who has to be the center of attention. I remember, excuse me. One time I, I dyed my hair blonde and uh, all day, like people were just complimenting me. Your hair is so cute. Da, 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 da. But the one, my, one of my good friend at the time, because we are no longer friends, honey. Mm. And mm. <laughs> the one girl that I was friends with, talking on the phone with all the time, like literally talking, like you would have thought that we were in a relationship, how yeah. much we talked. Mm-hmm. 
went through the whole day. And I and at that point I had noticed her behavior. I had noticed mm-hmm. like when you guy know. when guys come around, if the mm-hmm. attention's on me, she gets fidgety, she wants to leave early, like all of a sudden it's not fun no more. Right. It was fun when John was talking your ear off. Uh-huh. But now Tyreek over here with me, it's like I don't I, I think we should go. No, we uh-huh. still don't. You say. know, it's so obvious. Yeah, so I dyed my hair blonde and I was like, hmm, I noticed that she didn't say nothing to me. So I was like, I want I want to see how mm. long she go without mentioning. And mind mm. you, if, if you come in here, if I've known you and your hair is brown and you come over here, oh my girl, your hair like you yes, have some yes. type of yeah, excitement. Yes. Nothing. Oh, it's yeah. All day. You know so, what that is. Exactly. The so mean girl's like, pressure is so real. Like, yes, I mean, I can't, I'll be damned if pressure. me and Jahan are just out there and he, and then now he's tripping the next day because I didn't compliment his Bulls jersey. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'd be damned. No, like, but, yeah, those, but those, 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 those things, that's man, it's crazy. not even about I know, but it, that's, yeah, it's not about that's the, the world of a woman. If you know, Jahan I understand. was like, oh, nigga, that bang is fly. You know what I mean? He's throwing shade at you because the bang not fly. <laughs> so so she's, just, referring, she's referring to my haircut. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, it's cool. I'm sorry. Uh, Audra has her next country album coming out too if you see her. Uh, hey, but I can do that though. <laughs> That's okay. You yeah, can you, too. You, you can too. Anyway. Our fav- favorite bluegrass yeah, it's singer. Not, it's, not even about, it's not even about getting the... the compliment or the um you know the confirmation that she likes it or it's anything the like energy that. of it's it it's the energy okay. like girl i know you mad that i got blonde hair right now you, you are know really when weird somebody's upset especially if you actually know them you know if she's not feeling exactly, it right now if she's exactly. uncomfortable in a situation to me that's not worth it and that's why i don't just go out even for other women i'm not gonna go out and pretend to be cool with you for no reason mm-hmm. if i'm really not mm-hmm. messing with you mm-hmm. i'm not gonna do that so let me tell you what she said though so by the end of the night i was like hmm um, you ain't say nothing about my hair. I called it all on it because we are somebody that talks all mm-hmm. the time. I'm not with yeah. that. I, like, like how you say you loyal and you tight. Right. I'm, that's how I am with a friend. You my friend. You my uh, family. Yeah, yeah, like, course. I ain't got time to be having anxiety or now I can't or say certain things it. to her. Or no, nah, like let's be upfront. So I said something and she was like, mm, like I don't know. When I've been looking at you, I just been thinking, uh, copy and paste. This girl wore one blonde wig. I didn't even know her when she, she had the blonde wig. Why didn't tell you that at the beginning of the night if that's how she felt as a real friend? So she was feeling that way all night. That's what I'm night, saying. And I picked up on it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, all yeah. the red flags. It wasn't about the compliment. You knew it was what it about, was. I knew she was hating. Yeah. It's just copy and paste. Girl, you don't own blonde hair. And you wore blonde hair one time, did not even and know you. And copy and paste. And that's more like a paste. bunch of people have been doing it. I'm not gonna so lie. I, I might have to steal that that insult. It's kind of fun. I'm gonna use that in my own circles. But I, I hate that she said it to you. But yeah, copy and paste is fire. Like you copy and paste. That's the, that. and that's that's what that comes down to. And exactly. You know, it's just and unnecessary. I picked up on it all night. Like people coming up to me, you can just see the little her energy. Like mm, we don't like this. All right, so we got like one minute left. You know, uh, so Marcus Houston has been training because he had married a woman that is significantly a child younger than mm-hmm. him. Yeah. What do you guys think? Is that Narcissist. cool? Narcissist. Controlling. Okay, what about you? Um, it's that, and and it's also some. So there's some other stuff back there. Some other there's stuff some, back there. We we know the stuff. We follow the story behind the groups and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> there's some other stuff back there. Interesting. You don't think it's just love? You don't think nah. it's just it's true romance? Nah. Mm-hmm. Wow. No, I think there's. I think there are more desires. Mm. Well, what's the oldest you guys would go? Uh, oldest? Mm-hmm. Ooh, child, I could do me some gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> you say child, so yeah. So, oh, 50, 50, 50, maybe up to 60. Maybe up to 60. See, I ain't going that high, but I've, I definitely mm. dated somebody in the 50s. Definitely in the mm. 50s, so that's wow. Mm. Yeah, I mean, 50 is sexy. Oh, but I, I, I think I'm not, I'm not touching like, 50s no more. And what's the I'm young, like oh. pretty much in like the the 30s, the mm. 25s to so the 30s. It, the I lowest, that's where yeah. I'm at now. And what's I the youngest, youngest you guys would go? Maybe like the youngest, 40, or you have going if you need like to just say. 40, wait, 40? 40? Maybe. Uh, I'm not doing I would 30. go on like, like dating, boyfriend, or going out on dates. What do you mean? I mean the whole shebang. A man. Like, that's your man. A man. My man. My man? Yeah. No, my man, you have to probably be like somewhere in your like mid 20s because you got to have like shit going on, okay. knowing that you got to be paying bills. Okay. Like, that's why I want 40s yeah. to 50s. Because I want to know they paying their <laughs> yeah. bills and history said. Exactly, exactly. You either when made it, comes it or to, like didn't. that type of stability, yeah. a little bit like. 25 and up. Mm. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys, you know, hanging out. You know, I know we had a little, you know, beef up top, but I think we worked it out. Beef. I think we worked I'm it out through hungry. our conversation. I didn't want yeah. someone, that, someone that Pollo Loco. But this has been another edition Mashed of potatoes. the Cool Kids Podcast. We thank you guys for listening. Allegedly. Of course, uh, Co Create <laughs> Studios. Make sure you follow them. And of course, this is powered by the Judah Network. We are so grateful, so, so grateful for the Judah Network. Uh, you, where can they find you guys? Um, you can find me in the club. 
Um, I'll be on Twitter. I'll be on Instagram. I'll be allegedly. I'll be on Facebook. I'll be on whatever. But it's usually Aj Lachelle or Aj Lachelle K. There it mm-hmm. is. All right. Cool. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, uh, Yanni Official, Snapchat, Yanni underscore official, and uh, oh, YouTube, Yanni Official ASMR. Awesome. And Facebook, Yanni Coleman. Okay. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. Of course, you guys can find me at Brody the Joker, B R O A D Y the Joker on all social media platforms. I thank you guys for listening. You have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Come on. The girls in the party. Come on. And shake your body. Get the party going on.